up Gato Squad, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elias and if you are new here, consider subscribing. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, exactly what the title says, why the Honda Civic is now the best selling car in America. So after about 15 or 16 years, the Toyota Camry uh, has been the best selling car in America and for good reason, it's, the Toyota Camry has good reliability, it's a good car, you know, decent car to drive around, but this year might be the first year, and it's looking like it's gonna be the first year where the Honda Civic is actually gonna beat the Toyota Camry as the best-selling passenger car in the US. So uh, let's talk about five reasons why. So why is the Civic the current best-selling car in America? Now, I do wanna say one thing, it's not the best-selling vehicle in America, that's as we all know, or we should know, is the pickup truck. I believe that for, uh, the Ford F-150 is the best-selling vehicle in America. It outsells everything, basically. <laughs> so uh, this is the best-selling car in America, so why? So the first reason why uh, I think the Civic is the best-selling car in America is its bold looks. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna tell me, well, actually, the Civic is an ugly, ugly car. I don't like the vents, I don't like the, the styling, I don't like, you know, this about the styling or that about the styling. And of course, that's all understandable. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I happen to think that if, you know, the Civic looks great, but a lot of people on the internet, especially, have been saying that the Civic, this Civic is the ugliest Civic ever made. Well, um, sure, we can agree to disagree, but at least we can both agree on, or we can all agree on, that Honda went bold, super bold, with this iteration of the Civic. Um, if you look, you know, you got the fake vents, you got the, you got the a very aggressive styling across the line, all the way from, you know, the, the coupe, the sedan, the SIs, the hatchback, and the Type R. I mean, they all look really aggressive, really good, in my opinion, but really, really bold. And that's something that's gonna stand out to people. You know, when they look at, uh, Corolla or a Camry or even a Mazda 3. I happen to think the Mazda 3 is a great looking car. One second, let me just accelerate here a little bit, not too hard. So as I was saying, I think the, uh, the Mazda 3 and the Mazda 6 are great looking cars, but they don't really stand out that much anymore. They, you know, they kind of blend into everything else. The Civic, on the other hand, definitely stands out. You're definitely gonna remember, oh, that, that looks like a Civic, uh, especially this new Civic. So uh, that, you know, when something stands out in someone's mind and they go sh car shopping, it's like, oh, you know, I remember looking at the Civic, you know, it's kind of a polarizing look. Let's go take a look at the Civic. So I think uh, bold looks are going to sell. And I, for one, uh, commend Honda for actually going as bold as they did with this design. You know, at least we can say they're not boring with their Civic design. You know, I, I was tired of seeing all these boring Civics driving around. Uh, you know, and they got even more boring in 2012. You know, the, the, basically it looks like a car, you know? There wasn't any features of it that you can actually, it stands out or anything like that. So I'm glad that at least uh, with this new generation Civic, they went really bold and I think it's helping them sell a lot of cars. I think reason number two of why the Civic is selling so well right now and beating the Camry, beating everything, is uh, the choice in in car that you have. So you have so many choices in the Civic. You know, basically there's a choice out there for everybody. You want a coupe, they got you covered. You want a sportier coupe, you got the SI coupe as well. You want the sedan, they got you covered. Uh, SI, SI sedan also covered. And then they got the whole hatchback range with all the different trim levels. I mean, you can pretty much go to the, the Honda dealership and only look at the Civic lineup and you know you could you can give one to your to your uh, 20 year old kid or 17 year old kid you can get one for your wife the sedan you can get one for yourself you know the Type R it's it's so many different uh, flavors of the Civic there's just so many to choose from so that's definitely I think a big reason why the Civic is selling so well it's, it's the choice in trim level of uh, the whole lineup. It's, it's a huge amount of choice and uh, that's, that wasn't always there. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, now we finally get all these options with the, with the Civic lineup and I'm really happy that they brought over the hatchback. It's, I think in my opinion, the hatchback is the best one to get. 
the most versatile, the most useful. But like I said, the, the sedan, for, for those of you that like sedans, want something kind of uh, normal looking, you want the trunk separated from the rest of the cabin, sometimes people like that. Uh, the sedan's for you. If you want something sporty, you don't need four doors, you want something that'll kind of look cool, and you can get it, you know, this, the coupe, you can actually get it in like electric green, uh, this lime green color that's awesome looking. Same goes to the SIs. The SI coupe comes in lime green as well. It's just a really cool looking coupe and I really like it if you don't need four doors. Um, for those of you that want that little bit of extra um, aggressive look and a little bit of an extra aggressive uh, stance and uh, more uh, useful space in the back, there's the hatchback. And then for those of us that really, really want to take their car out of the track, uh, drive them hard, drive them fun, have a lot of fun in it, there's the Type R. So that huge uh, gamut in choices is, I think, reason number two why the Civic is selling so well. So I think reason number three, in the same vein as reason number two, is the amount of drivetrain options you can get in the Civic. I mean, um, you have such a wide gamut of, of options that you can get in the Civic. Let's just, let's just go through all of them. So I think the, the least expensive Civic you can get is the NA Civic, the naturally aspirated two-liter, um, and that's actually a great drivetrain. Um, it's a, it's a, it's the one without the turbo, so it's going to be a simpler drivetrain. A lot of people say that's going to be more reliable than the turbo ones. Time will tell, of course, but it's not something really cool that they offer the NA drivetrain, and they offer it in a manual too. You can get that in a sedan or coupe. Um, that's the naturally aspirated uh, K-series engine, which is really cool. Uh, and then a step up above that, uh, you can get the. Uh, 1.5 liter turbos now I don't know about you but what, as soon as I found out that the uh, Civic was gonna come out in a turbo form I was really excited you know Honda hasn't really done a mass-produced turbo in such a long time and uh, now we take turbo engines for granted everybody has a turbo engine and uh, finally Honda um, uh, put a turbo in their uh, mass-produced cars you know they had turbos before, before in the Acura lineup uh, a couple years ago they started doing that few years ago um, but until now they weren't really mass market until until the Civic came out with the 1.5 T that's huge huge for us <laughs> great that there's a choice there so you can get it in a CVT or you get it in a manual so the sedan uh, comes in the six-speed manual which is awesome I mean six-speed manual turbo you can get that back in 2016 that they came out with that so that's really cool that they have that the other thing that they have is uh, they have uh, the hatchbacks of course so you can get the 1.5 T in the hatchbacks with the CVT or the manual and like I said, 1.5 T, the turbo engine with a manual, that's a recipe for success, I think. And especially in the future, I know, I mean, I already know for a fact that K-Tuner and Honda are working hard on their next generations of tunes. But even right now, you can buy a nice Honda or K-Tuner unit, hook it up to your turbo Civic, and make an extra 30 to 40 horsepower like that. And that's actually really cool that they had that. We're able to do that so quickly and easily with the Civic. So I think the availability of the 1.5T is also really cool. So the fact that the 1.5T comes in the CRV, is gonna come in the new Accord, it comes in the Civics. <laughs> People love the car. People waving at me and, and honking at me. It's just coming in, basically every new Honda is coming out is using the 1.5T. So that engine is gonna be everywhere. So if you blow your, if you blow your 1.5T on your Civic, you're, you're gonna know that uh, you can just go and get one from the junkyard, not a problem at all. So I think the Civic 1.5T is gonna be a humongous success for the tuner crowd in the coming years. Moving up in the lineup now, uh, you know, 1.5T, you get the SI. It also uses a 1.5T with a slightly different turbo. Um, and again, that's just awesome for tuning. So across the whole range, basically, you get the 1.5T. At the top of the line, the car we're in, the Type R, uses the 2.0T. Now, it's a very similar 2.0T that the new Accord's actually coming out with. Different, but similar. They use the same block. Um, so that's pretty cool, and they use the same transmission apparently as well, just different shifting linkages. It's a little softer than this one, and uh, yeah, I think you know I think Honda's doing a really bang up job of using their drivetrains to their to the fullest. 
So I think that's the reason number three why uh, Civics are selling so well. Reason number four why uh, Civics are selling so well is really because uh, all the different packages and equipment you can get on it. I mean, there's equipment you can get on Civics that you couldn't get on BMWs and Audis just a few years ago. So let's take, for example, the top end Civic uh, you can buy, the Touring Hatchback Civic. Now, the Touring Hatchback Civic comes with leather seats, heated front and rear seats, uh, leather, uh, leather steering wheel, of course. It brings um, all the driver's suites that Honda has, Honda Sensing, uh, Honda um, uh, Collision Mitigation, Honda uh, Lane Departure System. Basically anything you can think of to, as a driver's aid comes in the Civic Touring. And it almost, it almost works as a self-driving car. You, know, you could let go of the steering wheel and it'll kind of steer you through. I mean, you're not supposed to do that, but I've seen it at work and it's actually really cool that a Civic can, can be had with that option. And, um, and not only that, but the level of luxury that the Touring has is ridiculous. So another, <laughs> it's an Integra. So um, uh, yeah, the level of, of, of luxury that the Touring has is really, really cool. So um, if you want something really luxurious, you can get that. But if you want something really basic, uh, let's just go right down to the base uh, LX sedan, you know, manual. You get the NA engine, right? Nice and simple. That'll run forever. And you can get it in a manual so you can have some fun in it. It'll have cloth seats, but it has everything you want. It has, you can hook up your phone still to the radio. Uh, you know, my previous uh, Civic Sport hatch had that uh, lowest trim level radio on there. And it was, it worked fine. It worked great, you know, for, for what it was. And yeah, so you can get basically anything you want in a Civic uh, or in a car, you can get it in a Civic, which is really awesome that Honda did that. I think it's really smart that they did that. And that's why I think number four, reason number four why uh, the Civic is selling so well this year. So reason number five of why I think the Civic is selling so well, and I think the reason number five is the fact that Honda brought over their Type R to the US. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the halo effect, but a lot of uh, car manufacturers like to get one or two really awesome cars into the dealerships to kind of drum up um, sales, come drum up, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is it, uh, excitement for the whole lineup. And I think the Civic Type R does just that. It drums up a lot of excitement to the brand, to the, to the, to the whole lineup, to the whole Civic lineup. So I think a lot of people are seeing the Type R and how awesome it is, how fast it is, and they can say, oh wait, I can get a Type R or I can get the Civic Sport hatch or a hatchback similar to the, to the Type R and we'll have, you know, a, a good, I know I'll have a good chassis because the Type R is such an awesome car. You know, it also just gets, you know, traffic into the dealership. You know, people may not even care about Honda and now that they see this awesome Type R, you know, on, on the racetracks and, and people driving like I do, for example, on YouTube and things like that, you know, they, they become more interested in the brand overall and, and the Civic uh, lineup especially. So I think the fact that Honda brought the Type R um, to the US really does a nice halo effect, a nice halo job on the rest of the Civic lineup. So a lot of people are excited uh, to look at the Civic lineup and it's and it's for good reason. I mean, even take a, a Civic Sport hatch, which retails at around $21,000. That's, that's a lot of car for $21,000. You got everything you really need and want. Uh, you got the 1.5T, it's a fun engine. And I think it's gonna be a very fun platform to build up in the future. So uh, I think Honda did really, really well with their whole lineup. And I think bringing the Type R, it was the cherry on top to the whole fun Honda Sunday. <laughs> so uh, that pretty much covers it, guys. So uh, I'm ho I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I, I did. I'm happy that the Civic is selling really well. You know, it deserves to be selling really well. It's a really good car and Honda did a really good job on it. So uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.